Welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be ranking all the exotic weapons in Destiny 2. Starting off with the Ace of Spades. Fun in PvP. PvE. I don't... It's usable, but... It's more of a PvP weapon. Put that at B tier. Anarchy. Boss DPS. Very good. S. Arbalist. C tier. Hate it running into that in PvP. PvE. Don't use it at all. Bad Juju. Gets back your super energy. It's a pretty decent pulse overall. Put that at the B tier behind Ace of Spades. Black Talon. PvP, it's... I see it sometimes. But now we have Caster Swords. Uh, I'm gonna throw that down in the C tier. It's because it's still a pretty strong weapon. Bordy Alice. Pretty good for Nightfalls. But honestly, it doesn't do anything against Champions. I'm gonna have to put it down in the D tier. Cerberus plus one. So it's pretty fun to use, but on overall usability, I'm going to throw that bad boy over into C tier. Cold Heart. Haven't used it ever since I got its catalyst. D tier. <laughs> it has its uses, but it's fun to use in PvP. Crimson. Oh, A tier. Love using this thing in the Crucible. Gets you your health back on every kill. Oh, amazing. Darcy, kind of fell off after, you know, better weapons came out, there's Whisper and all that, but if you don't have Whisper, then this is a good thing to use on Scourge of the Past, I'll put Darcy up in A tier, Deathbringer, I have not seen Deathbringer ever since it came out, Divinity, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna put that in A tier, because the crit spot is nice, but you can only really use it in certain encounters, whether... Because you're losing your DPS <laughs> by using Cold Heart, but you're expanding the crit spot. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at A. Ariana's Vow. Alright. This thing has anti-barrier on it intrinsically. Uh, pretty, f pretty fun to use, and pretty useful. I'm going to put it up in A tier. Fighting Lion. I hate this gun. <laughs> I hate it with a burning passion. Um, but it's, it's it's pretty good if you're skilled with it in PvP. PvE uh, was good when Luna Factions were still auto-reloading, but now it's just not not as useful. Graviton Lance. This thing, when I first started playing Destiny, it was two months before Forsaken came out. This thing was destroying me in the Crucible. But now I think it's still usable, but there's just better options. I'm going to put it behind fighting line. Cold Heart. Been melted by so many of them. Izanagi's Burden. Even though this thing got nerfed to its reload, it's still an amazing DPS weapon, and it only takes special ammo. Yotun. Annoying to find in the Crucible. Very useful in PvE. Put that in A tier. Luminarch. Nobody uses that. Legend of Acrius. Heard this is good in Crown of Sorrow. I have never used it in Crown of Sorrow. Catalyst is a pain in the ass to get if you don't have any friends. I'm going to leave that in the B tier above Fighting Lion. Leviathan's Breath. Pretty sure it's called Leviathan's Breath. First Heavy Bow. Hopefully there's more that are just better. Good against Unstoppables. Annoying to play against in Gambit. I'm going to throw this down in the C tier, just because it's not really... It's more used just for, as a meme than anything. Lord of Wolves. It's, yeah, it's a pretty good shotgun. I primarily play on console, so I don't see this as much, but I heard PC is just absolutely disgusting. So I, from being a console player, I'm going to put this in B tier. F. Malfeasance. Gambit weapon, don't really see it. Better hand cannons, D tier. Merciless. This gun is actually pretty nice to use. You can kill supers in the Crucible if you don't kill them in your first shots. And in like in strikes and raids, this just melts anything that you don't kill with. <laughs> that, yeah, anything you don't kill. Um, but nobody uses it. Better alternatives, C tier. 
Mida multi-tool. When scout rifles were big at one point, this thing was annoying to play against. But now, everything's auto rifles. Monte Carlo, excellent. Love getting my melee back. Not as good in the Crucible as, like, Service Regime, but, you know, PvE. 1k Voices. I still have people in my clan that still can't get this. Pretty strong. Like, if you use it in Gambit, it's, it's annoying. Get melted instantly from a distance. But I'm just gonna throw it in B tier. Outbreak Perfected. This thing's just really nice in general. I'm gonna put that in A tier. Polaris Lance. That, that's a definite C. Getting the Catalyst was horrible. Hated using this weapon. I guess you can get sunspots if you're bottom tree uh, titan. But, again, better alternatives. Alright, Rat King. I just got the Catalyst for this. Now I just need to find my friends to finish it. Um, big meme. C tier. Risk Runner, A. A tier, <laughs> 100%. In bullet Hose, it reduces incoming arc damage. If you're going against Fallen, or even some Thralls, get that thing rolling. It's insane. Prometheus Lens, there was a time where this thing was ungodly, but now it's just... Eh, I, I, I preferred using Cold Heart over Prometheus Lens. Skyburner's Oath... Yep. Anti-barrier rounds destroyed this thing. It has two different fire modes, which are pretty cool, but you don't need you can shoot through phalanxes shields anyway. I wish they did something to Skyburners to make it you know somewhat usable, like bonus damage, stick a ball. Sleeper Simulant. The king of DPS of its time, but nerfs came, reduced the mag size. Now it's just it's it's still good for raids. I first time I ran last wish I used Sleeper. Now, now I, I don't. Stern, kind of nasty in PvP, but this this archetype of slow firing hand cannons are not that good. I'm just gonna toss this behind Ace of Spades. Sunshot, hate using the sunshot. I, I just hate it. Service regime, S tier right now. Sweet business, sweet meme. Teraba, it loses its buff if you put it away. Just a shittier recluse. Oh, what was this one? Telesto! Telesto the Besto. S tier. Breaks the game so many times. I had to disable it so many times. Amazing. Chaperone. I'm not good with it. Therefore, it's going to go into C tier. I can't hit my headshots. I don't use shotguns in Crucible that much. I don't like being an ape. The Colony. It, tr it tracks pretty well with the rockets. Or with the little grenades. But, people can just jump. And if you're a warlock, you never get hit by these. The Huckleberry. Love using this gun. So much fun to use. I wish there was a Huckleberry meta, but there's not. This was... Oh, what was this one called? The Jade Rabbit. Yep, the Jade Rabbit. When Bungie released that one mode that was basically like SWAT from Halo, this thing was insane. But other than that... B tier. Oh my god. <clears throat> the last word. I hate putting it there. S tier. I, I don't like using it. I get melted by it all the time. Prospector. Used to melt ribbon. Riven. Used to melt Riven before. But now it's just another alternative to damaging it, I guess. Queen Breaker's Bow. Gambit saw a lot of this. They nerfed the aim assist. Uh, it's, it's pretty pretty cool aesthetics, it's just a fallen fallen sniper, but I'm going to throw that into C tier. Wardcliff Coil, amazing to use, really fun to use, love using Wardcliff. Thorn, I see it in Crucible a lot, but getting burned is annoying, but it's not not the end of the world, because if the, pe the Thorn Utrers I've encountered are pretty bad, but I guess got to respect the gun. Fun and Destiny 1. Thunderlord, ooh, the OG exotic that came back. Lightning strikes, amazing at ad clear. I think it's one. It's it's a really good good LMG, but there's just better legendary alternatives like 21%. But 
basing this off being a legendary machine gun, it's amazing. Tractor cannon, debuffs, S tier. Oh, Trinity Ghoul with the new catalyst. Best ad clearing weapon in the game. You can proc its perk off itself now. Ooh, really good, really juicy. A tier. Truth, don't see it that much in the Crucible. It's annoying in Gambit. Put it there. Two tailed fox, gross. Vigilance Wing is pretty good now here. I have not tried the newly buffed like, pulse archetypes, but I get melted by it a lot in Crucible, so it's gotta be good. This is Wave Splitter. Oh my god. I wish I I wish I used this more when it was like ridiculous. But it's the best uh, trace rifle in the game right now for PvP. I'm gonna throw it into B tier. Whisper of the Worm. If this if this was pre-nerf, this would be above S tier. S like triple plus or whatever it's called. Now people just don't use it as much. Or if you're like if you're running Scourge, I guess you can use it, but you the fact that you don't generate ammo out of thin air, it sucks. But well, I guess it's balanced. Whatever. A tier. Wish Ender. Big meme. Not really used in PvP or PvE. After it got nerfed. Yep. Throw it over there. World Line Zero. War Warlocks can do some sort of glitch on this with PC where they can just fly all over the place. I don't know if that's patched, but. Dark Drinker. Or whatever the. Falling Guillotine is the best sword in the game right now. Xenophage, post buff, love using it. Bastion, weird kinetic fusion rifle, pretty fun to use, but there's not that much usability for it. Devil's Ruin, I believe this stops unstoppable en enemies if you just full laser blast. You know, very fun, niche exotic throw this into D tier just because I don't see anybody using it and you can just throw mods on any of your weapons, melees or grenades. Symmetry. Sima sucks. Fourth Horseman. Don't get killed by it a lot. Probably because I'm just bad at Crucible and I'm with other bad people. But for Destiny 1's sake, throw it over there. Tommy's Matchbook. Hurts you when you hold the trigger for too long and with little benefit. Air apparent. I mean, it's all right. <laughs> oh, this guy. Is this the one that hasn't came out yet? I'm just gonna throw that into F tier. Traveler's chosen. Just, yeah, throw it over there for now. Wither horde. Amazing bug that just melted raid bosses instantly. Annoying. In the crucible when you're getting zoned out. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this into B tier. And finally, the newest exotic that came out. And I forgot its name. I'm just gonna give this a quick Google search. Ruinous Effigy. Used it in the Crucible yesterday. So fun to turn people into little orbs and then slam dunk on people that have no idea you're holding their dead friend. I'm gonna give this A tier for fun factor. And that is all the weapons. Let me know what you think of my tier list. Let me know if I'm wrong. Probably am. But yeah, but this is it for now. Thanks. Have a nice day.